Assalamu alaikum. This is the principles of microeconomics course directed to first year. Let's take our first lecture. In this course, we're gonna uh, learn about uh, macroeconomics and what's meant by macroeconomics. What is the difference between uh, macroeconomics and microeconomics, which I've taken in uh, the first semester? First of all, uh, why we study macroeconomics. In fact, macroeconomics help us to understand the performance of any economy. We have five main issues uh, macroeconomics um, is concerned with. In order, in order to understand any economy, we have to know um, these five main issues. We will take it later. Uh, first of all, uh, we will take the difference between the macroeconomics and the microeconomics. In the first semester, we have taken the microeconomics, which is a branch of economics. In this semester, we will take the macroeconomics branch of economics. First of all, let's revise what's meant by microeconomics. We have taken in the first semester the macroeconomics, which is a branch of economics that is concerned with the behavior of individual economic units. We are concerned about just one unit inside the economy, which is either a consumer or a producer, uh, a price of a single product, how um, the price of single product is determined is through the demand and the supply. The macroeconomics deals with what we call it aggregates. It is a branch of economics that is concerned with the behavior of the whole economy. In this case, we are not dealing with just one unit inside the economy. We are dealing with aggregate variables. Aggregates means total variable. Uh, now, we will not uh, talk about one single good, we are talking about aggregate production or total production. Here we are talking about total consumption and total producers, total consumers inside the economy. In part one, we will take two chapters. Chapter one is about macroeconomics issues and measurements. And chapter two is talking about uh, the aggregate output and national income in the short run. First of all, in chapter one, we will take first, what is the difference between micro and the macroeconomics? Uh, microeconomics, um, it is a branch of economics, uh, which we uh, have studied in the first semester. Second, some key macroeconomic issues here. We want to understand why we are studying economic, uh, macroeconomics, which is the benefit uh, laying behind studying macroeconomics. دلوقتي عشان أقدر إن أنا أعرف either a certain country, whether it is rich one, we call it developed country, or poor country, we uh, we are calling it developing country. We have some characteristics uh, should be understood. These characteristics we call it issues, which is the unemployment. لازم نبقى فاهمين لما نيجي مثلا نفهم أي economy the structure بتاعه في five issues لازم نحطها في اعتبارنا. من ضمنها the unemployment اللي هي البطالة لازم نعرف what's meant by unemployment. Uh, how can we measure uh, unemployment if we have a problem uh, and the economy is experienced high unemployment rates? The policies that I can as an economist that I can apply or I can guide the government in order to apply the policy to it, so that I can solve the problem of unemployment inside a country. نقطة تانية برضو من الكي مايكرو اكنوميك اشيز which is inflation inflation means uh, تضخم uh, in this case also we have to know what's meant by inflation how can we measure inflation and 
uh, what are the policies, appropriate policies, should the government be applied in order to avoid the inflation. لو عندي مشكلة التضخم ازاي انا كإيكونومست اقدر ان انا ادي جايد للجوفرمنت ان هي تطبق بوليسيز معينة بحيث ان احنا نقضي على المشكلة ديت برضو من المي... من الكي مايكرو ايكونوميك ايشيز تو ديفينيشنز ويتش از اوتبوت اند ناشونال انكم واتس مين باي اوتبوت هاو كان وي ميجر ناشونال انكم كتير قوي بنسمع uh, فكرة الدخل القومي لازم نبقى فاهمين uh, ازاي بيتقاس الناشونال انكم ايه معنى uh, الايكونوميك جروس او النمو الاقتصادي دي من ضمن برضو Uh, الكي مايكرو ايكونوميك ايشوز ذات اللي احنا لازم uh, ندرسها في الكورس ده طبعا في uh, other issues which is uh, interest rates and exchange rate النقط ديت هتاخدوها ان شاء الله في بارت 2 مع دكتور حنين دلوقتي هناخد uh, first issue which is unemployment our first key macro economic issues is the unemployment Unemployment in Arabic means البطاله. Uh, Here we have to uh, study what's meant by unemployment, the definition of unemployment, and how can we measure the unemployment or the unemployment rate. Okay. Uh, in order to know how can we define the unemployment, we can easily say uh, it is the number of people that are searching for a job but cannot find any job. Okay, but the, our first uh, starting point is the labor force. دلوقتي مش كل كاتيجوري في البوبوليشن نقدر نقول عليها ان هي بتدور مثلا على وظيفة ومش لاقي وظيفة نقدر نقول عليها ان هي بتعاني من البطالة. احنا الستارتنج بوينت بتاعتنا labor force او القوة العاملة Uh, let's نعرف, الأول. It is a part of population that is between uh, 15 years old and 65 years old. Uh, بنقول على ال على الكاتيجوري ده ال working age category إن هي بتبقى مجموعة أو شريحة سكانية uh, في فئة عمرية مؤهلة للعمل. هي above 15 years old and less than 65 years old. This Uh, portion of population they are willing to work willing معناها ايه ان هم عندهم desire to work and they have the ability to work okay when people succeed uh, to get a job we call it employed people يبقى الجزء من ال labor force اللي بيقدر ان هو يلاقي وظيفة وبيشتغل فعلا بنسميه employed people uh, الجزء التاني Uh, which is the number of adults who are searching for a job but cannot find any job, we call it unemployed people. So the unemployment, it occurs when a person who is actively searching for employment and unable to find work. بحسبها ازاي؟ بنشوف الكاتيجوري بتاعت labor force او ال number of population between 15 years old and 65 years old who are searching for a job and they cannot find any job. عشان احسن بقى unemployment rate انا بقسم ال unemployed people over labor force واضرب في مية يبقى انا كده جبت ال unemployment rate. Uh, let's take an example. Uh, if you are given the following information about a certain economy. Uh, we have population size 1 million uh, person, employed people 45 million, unemployed people 15 million. Uh, the required is to calculate the unemployment rate. We know that the unemployment rate, we give us the unemployed people, the 15 million, over the number of uh, labor force. The labor force is the هل هما population size؟ اللي هو اللي هو ال 100 million؟ لا نرجع بقى لتعريف ال labor force ان هو ال category بتاع ال population in the working age اللي هو between 15 years old and 65 years old اللي هو نفسه عبارة عن ايه labor force؟ the number of employed people plus the number of unemployed people. So in order to get the unemployment rate هي بتساوي number of unemployed people over the labor force. Labor force احسبه ازاي؟ ان انا بجمع 
a number of employed people plus a number of unemployed people اللي هو ال15 plus ال45 which is 60 million ده ال labor force أجيب ال unemployment rate إزاي اللي أنا بقسم ال15 million over 60 million times 100 we got 25 percent which is the unemployment rate Turning to the types of unemployment, we have four types of unemployment. Fractional unemployment, seasonal unemployment, structural unemployment, and cyclical unemployment. First one, which is fractional unemployment, it refers to people that are between, in between jobs. يعني واحد كان uh, hold job and uh, leave this job uh, بقرار منه uh, looking for better salary, better job uh, ده example لل fractional unemployment uh, example 10 students who just completed school and are looking for a job دي بتبقى بطالة جزئية بس not deliberate مش بتبقى إجبارية okay. second type which is seasonal Unemployment, seasonal, يعني موسمي. Uh, it refers to people who are out of work and looking for a job during the off season. يعني بتبقى مجموعة من الناس شغلها مرتبط بسيزون معين في السنة. For example, مثلا اللي هو ال ice cream sellers uh, during uh, the summer. مثلا بيعة ال ice cream أو الفريسكا دول بيبقى دايما شغلهم مرتبط بفصل الصيف. في فصل الشتاء بيبقى off season بيبقى هما unemployed. Uh, third uh, type of unemployment which is a structural unemployment. It is due to a mismatch between labor qualifications and job requirements. بيبقى عندي mismatch أو um, عدم توافق ما بين مؤهلات الفرد وما بين الوظيفة المتاحة يعني مثلا مؤهله ان هو محاسب والوظيفة المتاحة مثلا درايفر او المؤهل بتاعه ان هو دكتور والوظيفة المتاحة اللي هو انجينيرينج فالميس ماتش ده بيخلي البرسن انيمبلويد the last type of unemployment which is cyclical unemployment this type exists when people search for a job but didn't find any kind of job ده في حالة الدولة بتبقى فيها أو الإيكونومي في ريستيشن أو ركود بيبقى الإنتاج قليل جدا اللي بيتم إنتاجه فبالتالي الطلب على الليبر بيبقى قليل ففي الحالة دي بيبقى عندي deliberate unemployment